Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will learn how to set up a Git client to work with code commit. The Git client will allow you to work on any file on your local computer. Then once you are done working on that file, you can push the changes to your code commit repository in AWS. To start, the first thing we are going to do is create a user in IAM. So in the management console, select services, then come down to security, identity and compliance, select IAM. In the IAM dashboard, select users, then select add user. Give your user a name. Then select programmatic access, and I'm also going to give it the AWS management console access. I'm going to select custom password and create a password. I'm going to uncheck this box because I don't want to change the password when I sign it. I'm going to click next for permissions. On that set permissions, we are going to attach our permissions directly to this user. So I'm going to select attach existing policies directly. And on that policies, the first policy we are going to attach is IAM read only. So I'm going to search for it in here. And it is right here. I'm going to select it. The next policy we are going to attach is the IAM self-managed service specific credentials. I'm going to select that as well. Then we are going to add one more policy. I'm going to type AWS code commit. And I'm going to select the AWS code commit full access. Then click next to add tags. I'm going to leave that as default. Click next to review. Review everything. Make sure you have those three policies attached to this user and click create user. Once you have created the user, make sure you save the access key and secret access key to your computer. I'm going to select download CSV and it should download it to my computer and you can see it right here. We are going to close this. The next thing we are going to do is install Git on our computer. I'm going to open a new tab and in Google, I'm going to type Git download. Under my search results, I'm going to select go to download. And under downloads options, I'm going to select windows. If you are using Mac or Linux, you can select them. I'll select windows. And it has downloaded the Git file to my computer. You can see it right here. I'm going to double click it to open it. Then I'll select yes. And I'm going to click next. And I'll select next again. If you want an additional icon on your desktop, you can check this box, but I'm going to leave it as default and click next. So I'm just going to leave everything else as default and click next to the end. I'll select next. Then I'm going to select install. And it is now installing Git on my computer. And once you have installed Git on your computer, select finish. Then I'm going to close this tab. In the IAM console, select the user you just created. And select security credentials. Then scroll down. Then under HTTPS Git credentials for AWS code commit, we are going to select generate credentials. And once you have generated that credentials, make sure you click download to save it to your computer. Once I click download, it has saved it to my computer and you can see it here. I'm going to open it. This is the CSV file for our code commit credentials. I'm going to minimize it for now. Then I'm going to close this. The next thing we are going to do is go to code commit and create a repository. So I'm going to select services and I'm going to come down to developer tools and select code commit. 
in the code commit dashboard make sure repositories is selected then select create repository and give your repository a name i'm going to call it test repo then i'm going to give it a description then click create and once you have created that repository it is going to give you the connection steps of how to clone this repository on your local computer to clone this repository on your local computer this is the command you are going to use or you can also find it in here so if i select clone url and under clone https you also find that url in there the next thing we are going to do is open git bash i'm going to select start and i'm going to select git bash and once you have opened git bash the first thing we are going to do is change the directory to the location where we want to clone this repository on our computer so pick a location on your computer where you want to clone this repository in this example i want to clone it on the desktop so what i would do is i'm just going to open a folder and i'm going to select desktop while i'm in the desktop i'm going to right click to copy the desktop address i'm going to minimize this and in the git bash terminal i'm going to type cd space and i'm going to paste that address in there and what i'm doing here is i'm changing my directory to my desktop directory i'm going to press enter and you can see that it has changed the directory to the desktop directory the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my management console and I'm going to copy this command to clone my code commit repository. I'm going to open git bash again and I'm going to paste that command in there and press enter. The first time you are cloning a repository, it is going to ask you for your git credentials. So I'm going to open that CSV file and I'm going to copy my username and I'm going to paste it in there then I'll copy my password and I'm going to paste it in here and click OK and ignore this warning saying that you have cloned an empty repository Remember when we created our repository, we didn't put any file in it. So this is fine. The next thing we can do now is if I minimize this and minimize this to go to my desktop. And on my desktop, you can see that repository there. It has created a new folder, which is the same name as my repository in code commit. And that folder is right here. And I'm going to double click it to open it. So once you open that folder, let's create a file and put the file in this folder so what i'll do is i'll open a notepad in the notepad type anything in there i'm going to type my name is john and i'm going to save this file to this local repository on my computer so i'll select file save and on my desktop i'll choose that test repo I'm going to save this file as demo and press save and I'm just going to close this for now and you can see in our test repo folder we have the demo file in there next we are going to use git bash to push this file from our local repository to our code commit repository because remember when I go to my code commit repository this repository is empty and i don't have any file in there before we push our file from our local repository to our code commit repository there's one more thing i want to show you in git there are three stages you have the working directory the staging area and the repository and this is the command you use to push a file from the working directory to the staging area and this is the command you use to push a file from the staging area to the repository. So we are going to be using this command to push our file through the stages 
Then finally, we are going to push it to our code commit repository. I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to open git bash. And in your git bash terminal, the next thing you should do is make sure you change the directory to your local repository directory. I'm going to open the folder on my computer and I'm going to copy the address and minimize this. In your git bash terminal, I'm going to type cd and I'm going to paste that address in there and press enter. And we have now changed our directory to that repository. And you should see that it says master over here. While you are in this directory, the first command we are going to type is git add. And press space. And you are going to type the name of the file you are trying to add to the staging area. The name of our file is demo. I'm going to type demo.txt. TXT is the extension of that file. Then I'm going to press enter. We have now added the demo.txt file to the staging area. Next, we will use git commit to save the changes in the staging area along with a brief message to the local repository. So type git commit. And once you've typed git commit, press space and you can type minus M. And the M stands for message. And in here, you can type any message in there. I'm going to type first commit. And press enter. The next thing we are going to do is push this file from our local repository to our code commit repository. To do that, we are going to type git push. And press enter. And the push was successful. You can see it says done and it is 100%. So this means we have successfully pushed our demo.txt file to our code commit repository. If I go back to the code commit repository and I'm going to press refresh. And there you go. You can see the demo.txt file in our code commit repository. And if you select commits, you are going to see that commits with the message we gave it. The message I gave it was first commit and you will see it in here. Let's go back to our repository again. I'm going to select code. And if I select this demo.txt file, and you can see it says my name is John, which is what we enter in the file in our local repository. This is how you set up git clients to work with code commit. And anytime you want to update this file, all you have to do is come to your local repository, open the file, then make your changes in here. Then once you are done making your changes, save it. Then in your git bash terminal, you use the git add, git commit, and git push to push it back to your code commit repository. This is how you set up a git client to work with code commit. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.